Good morning everybody and welcome to Living Uniquely You, myself Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this Monday morning. I am bringing in some light codes and the energy of the new moon in Aries. This new moon is about expansion, growth, opportunity, abundance, confidence. So it's allowing us to really sow the seeds of what we want to bring in in the next couple of months. So I'm going to clear anything that is stopping you from fully stepping in to that energy of expansion and opportunity and abundance and allowing you to really grow within and without and having the confidence to do that. Um, this new moon is really setting us up now for the next couple of months. So this is a big moon. So if you haven't set your intentions, please do so. I'm, I'm going to help you. So, so what we are going to be doing on this new moon is sowing the seeds of what we want to bring in for the next couple of months, whether that's a new clients, whether it's to expand ourselves on a spiritual level, whether it's something to do with our family, a new job, anything at all. So it's really going to help us set those intentions and really step out and over the next couple of months, we are going to be asked to be thinking outside the box, not thinking inside that box, that 3D structure. It's the 5D structure now that we need to look at. And that is thinking outside the box. So what worked for you last week is not going to work for you this week. Bringing new ideas, aligning yourself to that expansion, to that growth, allowing the opportunities to open up for you. When we allow those opportunities to open up it's when we are in full alignment and full vibration so it's up to us to keep ourselves in that in that vibration so that opportunity and opportunities of course bring abundance and abundance of course gives us the confidence and then we go to grow and we become what we want to become so i'm going to let go of all the fear the procrastination i know i'm very good at procrastination and um, self-sabotage i feel self-sabotage is so much around at the moment that we just need to let it really really go and step out into that new moon energy and set the intentions of what we want to bring in so i'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in so calling all your energy back from people places situations time and space all the way back and as it's coming all the way back allow it drop through that divine filter of pure love and light take another deep breath in and calling your energy fully fully back again allowing it to go through that divine filter of pure love and light and breathe out take another deep breath in and allowing your energy to fully fully drop into you so allowing you drop into you and breathe out take another deep breath in and acknowledging how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. And breathe out. Bring your awareness to your heart and as you bring, aware bring awareness to your heart, visualize two big golden roots coming out of your heart chakra, into your solar plex, into your navel, your sacral, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of mother earth feeling your energy and mother earth's energy combining as one and feeling this energy move up into your earth star chakra pulling your earth star chakra all the way down 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 right down into the center of the crystalline grid all the way down fully fully connecting into your rightful place this is your rightful place nobody else is just yours feeling your roots wrap around the crystalline grid Feeling the second part of the grid come up to fully seal in your earth star chakra. Feeling this energy move up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex and your heart center. Doing a 360 degree around your heart center. 
calling in the energy from source coming straight down into your stellar gateway clearing anything that's stopping you from having divine connection into your soul star chakra so you can see sense and feel that soul's path and allowing that to fully illuminate in front of you into your causal chakra so your intuition can be fully heightened into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly into your third eye so you can see more clearly into your ear chakra so you can hear divine guidance into your throat chakra so you can speak your truth with pure love and light into the higher heart connecting into that universal energy of 5d and allowing you to fully anchor that within your life and body into your heart so you can love you you can see your beauty inside and out into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies allowing them to fully balance within the body and fully accepting yourself no matter what into the navel chakra connecting into that universal energy and bringing in the energy of oneness oneness of all into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies allowing them to fully balance within the body and remembering and reawakening your true gifts and talents who you truly are into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer into your hips your legs and your feet so you can take any necessary steps forward right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of mother earth feeling this energy move up into your feet your root and your heart doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra feeling your energy mother earth's energy and father sky's energy combining as one and feeling this energy move to every part of your body, every part of your being, allowing you go right down, 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 right down into that stillness, into that woodness, into that zero point, all the way down. Nobody needs anything from you. Nobody wants anything from you. This is your time and your space. I'm going to ask you to set your intentions of sowing the seeds of what you want to bring in for the next couple of months. So just feel them, feel them, feel them. Bring them in, bring them in closer into your vibration. And we're going to clear anything that's stopping you from having this and more. So I'm bringing in that energy, that beautiful energy from the moon, the beautiful new moon in Aries coming straight down into the system. And it's clearing anything that is stopping you from having it all and more O yana nasana makata yana nasana makata yana na kata yana kasule le kata yana kasana makata. So surrender and release. Ana kasana makata yana na kata yana kata yana. O yana nasana makata yana na kata yana na kata yana. Niyo yo 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 yo
So feeling yourself coming into balance, into that oneness, into that stillness. Now we're bringing in the energy of opportunities, growth, abundant, expansion, confidence and anything else that you feel you need to allowing those seeds to fully grow. Feeling the beautiful new moon energy in Aries coming straight down into every atom, every being, your cellular memory, to your endocrine system and any systems running within the body, right down to your 12 DNA strand. And awakening that energy within. And allowing you to have that confidence to step out into that expansive energy and opening I'm walking through those doors of opportunity. Nio <laughs> I'm going to ask you to cross your hands over your knees and fully, fully anchor that energy in. And just slowly, slowly bring yourself back. I felt that went into, just went in on a very, very deep level and it's just allowing the clear. And I'm getting to be gentle with yourself over the next couple of days because it might trigger an awful lot that's coming up to be released. So just letting it letting yourself go with the flow especially over the next couple of days i feel there's something that needs to be addressed before you can move forward it's about letting go of worry and fear i think um not i think i know um so i hope you enjoyed that as much as i do i'm going to pull hi elisa kitty claire you're very welcome i'm going to pull a moonology card Michelle's on who else I can't see anybody else hello and thank you for watching this and thank you for watching the replay Let's see yeah this so we you know, we need to water those seeds every day so seeds won't grow without water and so get your affirmations out very important really really hi Lorraine often I see if that's the moon energies for you, Lorraine, I know they affect me as well. So, see what the moonology cards have to say. So, we got the third quarter moon adjustments are required. So, what I'm saying, what I feel is that's adjustment with our thinking. So, we need to come with the positive affirmations. 
affirmations are so important for us for bringing in stuff um like literally you can make them off the top of your head like really whatever you want to make an affirmation that fits that and say it yourself as many times as you possibly can a day stick them on post-its around the kettle because you'll be making yourself a cup of tea and out there um and or in the morning when you're brushing your teeth while you're brushing your teeth say your affirmations whatever way suits you and remember always always say them and put love heart and belief into them don't just say them for the sake of saying them say them with feelings and emotions have a magical day guys enjoy the new moon be gentle with yourselves over the next couple of days as i feel there is a lot coming up to be released because this is preparing us now for the next couple of months and of course if you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis please dm me and i'll talk to you all again tomorrow take care bye